This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. Hey, EMM. We are excited to announce that we are now accepting applications for our second annual Diversity and Inclusion Award. The award is eligible to fourth-year med students identifying as underrepresented in medicine and are applying to EM residencies. We are extending three $200 awards to selected individuals following a blinded review of all applications. Applications will be accepted through the end of November with winners being announced mid-December. Check out our website at www.emergencymedicalminute.org slash EDI dash award for all the details and to access the free application. Or you can click on the link in our show notes. Thank you. All right, well, good evening, everybody. So um, sometimes, uh, you know, there's some pretty crazy cases we talk about medical minutes, really sick patients, but sometimes it's, you know, simple stuff that can be interesting as well. Uh, so I had a patient uh, a couple weeks ago, it's kind of a healthy guy, like, I don't know, 20 years old, and he came in with a complaint of just numbness and tingling in the upper lateral thigh, kind of just the outside of his thigh, felt numb, a little tingly, a little painful, and uh, otherwise he felt fine. He didn't have any back pain, there was no injury, it had been going on for a little while, and he just wanted to come in and get it checked out. So. I've seen this, I think, maybe once before when neurology actually kind of, kind of came up with a diagnosis, and it's a specific syndrome. It's got a cool name. Um, it's kind of nice to be able to tell patients. There's something called myralgia paresthetica, myralgia paresthetica, or lateral cutaneous femoral nerve entrapment syndrome. So it's basically what the syndrome sounds like. So you have a nerve called the lateral cutaneous femoral nerve that comes through your inguinal uh, region, and you can get it entrapped for various reasons. Sometimes it's obesity, diabetes. Sometimes it's someone who wears like tight fitting belts in that area and it just kind of compresses that nerve. And they get uh, either pins and needles, kind of painful sensation, um, just in this kind of upper lateral thigh, isolated area there. You can get uh, numbness in that area. And what's important is to make sure they don't have anything else like bad back pain, weakness with it, loss of reflex is something that'd be a more serious sign of like radiculopathy. But if it's just that kind of change in sensation with no other symptoms, we don't need to do any other test, doesn't need like an MRI. Patients are usually better on their own, like 90% recovers with no intervention. If somebody has something that we can help them with, like recommending weight loss or control of their diabetes, or if they've been wearing like a tight tool belt in the area, we can tell them to stop that. But otherwise, uh, kind of something that you might see, it's good to kind of recognize it because you don't need to do a whole lot of other tests if that's what they have, and you can kind of give them some reassurance. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.